the scintillating sounds of the secondary school football league is back on. Whether it's the supporters cheering on their favorite side or a student who just scored the match winner. Believe it or not, we're going to get up close and personal with the parents, the students, the teachers, and even the principals. We're actually here at Sawa North Secondary, which you may know as Book Malachis. They're actually playing the St. Mary Saints, and we're going to get all the action right here live. You just got to follow me on Chasing Goals, your boy Jazzy. From 1981, we started to be involved in the football. From then on, we have moved from being in the senior grade and qualified in 1982 to enter into the championship. We have had our success with the different zones. 2007, we won the Big Five National League tournament. And in 2016, again, we won the national intercult. Because of the socio-economic situation of students that come to the school, right? Where there are different challenges with the students, we pay particular attention to the student athlete. We emphasize student athlete, meaning we are concerned about their, their sporting aspect, but also we are concerned about their academic progress. At our school here, we pay greater emphasis on the holistic development of the, of the child, the individual child, as the case might be. So we want to ensure at all times that we strive to that. Over the years, it was tough, but gradually we have improved. We have improved with discipline, we have improved with academic performance, and we continue to strive for excellence. We were the first uh, second set of form four that came to go and the first set of people to win the intercol in our time when we played. Alright, so from that standpoint I'll bring a lot of history, you know, from going into the school play. And then you know I played, work with Akaidonia, work with Joe Public, a lot of teams in the Pro League and then after a while when they decided to part with Key Jeffries. Mr. Taylor approached me to come back in and give back to the community. So the coach had to be a father, he had to be a mother, he had to do a coach, he had to be a physio, he had to be a psychologist because a lot of the boys have a lot of social issues, you know, that he had to deal with beyond football. For instance, this season was very difficult mm -hmm. in terms of our preparation. A lot of the boys had to work to get money to buy the school supplies to go back to school. You know, so from that standpoint, he had to be more than just a coach alone. The sky is the limit, I mean, to play in this type of environment where millions of people are going to see a play. As coach in America, don't need to come to Trinidad to scout, you mm -hmm. can sit down in the office and watch exactly. a game. And I think some boys get scholarship through that last year, so if you're a young player and you have ambition, then the sky is the limit. When you think about the holistic student, it means that the student should be engaged in extracurricular activities. And as a teacher, to me, me being here and supporting the students shows the commitment that we have and the interest that we take in them. So Kyle, we heard some of the teachers begin you up, they're saying, yo, you had an exceptional year last year. Tell us about last year. Last year coming into the season, nobody might have thought I would be a player to look out for, but during the season, I was one of the players who was keep being most consistent mm -hmm. on the field and in the classroom because in school it's time for work and on the field it's a different mindset for the game of football. Well, yeah, it's a, it's a added pressure because um, being a champion is not an easy thing and we got to show that we never become the champions by luck. It's a great honor, to be honest, because that's showing that um, I have to be the big man on the team and leadership is everything. Well, my personal target is to come out of the most schools and to tote the side. Hopefully I want to become a mechanic, so I see myself wishing to be a mechanic with also with my passes at the side. What an action-packed afternoon. Of course, we're here at the San Juan North Secondary School, a school with such rich history and rich pride. Of course, today, a thrilling encounter as they tied 3-all with the St. Mary's Saints. 
We heard from the parents, we heard from the coaches, we heard from the students. I'm telling you, you got to keep it right here as we continue to follow the dreams, follow the goals. Right here, yours truly, Jazzy, inside Chasing Goals.